know what it is, eh? Let's jump right into it. Lil Zay, Osama arrested for leaving a Glock in the Uber. Yeah, Lil Zay was... Osama was arrested after allegedly leaving a loaded Glock handgun in an Uber earlier this week. Now, according to the documents obtained by XXL, you know, Lil Zay, Osama born Isaiah Dukes, was arrested and held without bail after he allegedly left a Glock 22 40 caliber pistol in an Uber. Now, the federal prosecutors in the Brooklyn, New York, alleged in the complaint that on Thursday, September 29th, a rideshare driver picked up the Chicago rapper and the acquaintances and his acquaintances in Mahan and observed Lil Zay holding a firearm. After dropping him in associates off in the Queens, New York, the driver discovered that Lil Zay had left the firearm in the vehicle and called the police. Now law enforcement responded and retrieved the gun from the vehicle and the driver later helped identify Lil Zay Osama subsequently the Have You Ever rapper was arrested and charged with possession of a machine gun and being a felon in possession of a firearm. Now, the prosecutors claim that the gun Lil Zay was carrying is a modified Glock 22 40 caliber pistol that has a switch also known as a auto sear. And if you don't know what an auto sear is, go look that up, but basically makes the gun turn into a machine gun. And the device attached with enables the firearm to shoot bullets in a rapid fire like a machine gun. Now, additionally, prosecutors said in the complaint that the Chai City Rhymer is well aware of the significance of a switch device and cited rap lyrics from his song 2021 song Danny Block, which goes, Every day a different Glock slash pussy boy know how I play. I hope this song right here don't get in the hands of the feds. Hope it don't get to the feds, man. Hey, I just got a brand new Glock with a 50 and a switch with a 50 and a switch. Prosecutors also noted that the 25-year-old rapper has a prior weapons possession conviction in Illinois and has two outstanding arrest warrants and therefore made him a flight risk and danger to the community. Now, the crimes charged in this case are extremely serious and confirm that the defendant is a danger to the community. Assistant U.S. Attorney Eastern District of the New York, Rebecca Schumann, wrote in court filings for one, the defendant possessed a particularly deadly capable, uh, deadly capable weapon that had been converted from a handgun capable of shooting just one bullet each time the trigger is squeezed to having the capability of firing until the trigger is lifted. Now, Lil Zay Osama is currently in jail and held without bond. If convicted, he could face 20 years in prison on the two criminal charges. And, you know, you got you got all these big, crazy news, but, like, what's that say for you right there? Rock. Officials announced Thursday, Freddie Lee Drone, 40, was charged with one count of murder and conspiracy to commit robbery, along with two counts of second-degree robbery, according to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office. His 17-year-old son faces the same charges, while 38... Year old Chantanel Trone faces one count of accessory after the fact. Now, Chantanel Trone is Freddie Lee Trone's wife and the minor's stepmother. stepmother. Now, the Associated Press reports the minor and Chantanel Trone were taken in to custody Tuesday while Freddie Lee Trone was arrested in Las Vegas. Los Angeles police officials announced Thursday. Now, the minor among two arrested in the slayer, slaying of rapper PNB Rock, third suspect sought. Now, the charges stem from the September 12th shooting of the 30 year old uh, Rakeem Allen, known as PNB Rock, at a Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles restaurant in the 100 block of West Manchester Avenue. Now, Allen was dining with his girlfriend when the gunman shot the rapper and removed some of his property before running out of the restaurant and fleeing in a vehicle. Now, police initially believed a social media post may have tipped the gunman to the rapper's location. Authorities had not released additional information about the fatal encounter, but TMZ reported that the minor was alleged shooter and Freddie Trone drove the getaway car. You know, that's all messed up right there. Just for some cash and jewelry people, like, you know, on... on on a rapper's life. I get he's like a big rapper and stuff and people hate on him. But even, come on, man. You don't kill people over their stuff. Like, it just, it's like, we can't go around wearing, like, nice things or having nice things because people hate too much to the point where it's dangerous. And that's sad. That's sad. Why Why we like that now? Now, the teen made his initial appearance Thursday at the Compton Juvenile Court and is scheduled to return on October 19th for a pretrial hearing. Now, officials said... 
Johnson L. Trone is expected to be arraigned Thursday. Freddie Lee Trone was booked in Las Vegas as a way in extradition to Los Angeles. Now, the murder of Mr. Allen dimmed a bright light in the lives of his fans, friends, and most importantly, his family. District Attorney George Gaskin said in a statement, the accused individual's alleged actions in this case were heartless and cruel and robbed the world of Mr. Allen's talents. You know, like, and it's true, they did, because... That, you know, some guy got jealous, wanted his bling. He could have just stole his bling and not have killed him. And, you know, knowing this guy has a family, a wife, a son, and, you know, a kid on the way and stuff like that. It's just terrible. It's terrible to hear that sort of thing happen. And, you know, um, the father, Freddie Lee Tron, the guy that was 40 who was arrested in Las Vegas, I killed him. Um <laughs> Or was, you know, in, in part of getting him killed, it's just, it's it's crazy. Mr. Trone's wife, Chantanel Trone, 32, was arrested in Gardena, California on Tuesday and charged with one count of being an accessory after the fact, according to the allegations. Like, his wife was even in on this, you know? Like, this, that's sad, dude. That's sad. Now, the murder of Mr. Allen that dimmed a bright light in the lives of his fans, friends, and the most importantly, his family... You know, uh, George Gaskin, it, 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 this is this is heartbreaking. And on September 12, PNB Rock was having a meal with his partner when a man entered the restaurant at about 1 p.m., right? And demanded that he hand over his jewelry. You know, lights him up over his jewelry. Um, it's it's this is this is some crazy stuff just over some jewelry. A number of robberies targeting actors, musicians, and athletes have occurred in recent years. Bashir Jackson, who performed as Pop Smoke, was killed in a home invasion in early 2020. Fans note that that day before he was shot, he had posted photos on Instagram showing a stack of cash and a gift bag labeled with the Los Angeles address. A little more than a week before PNB Rock was killed, he spoke about being targeted in Los Angeles and recalled a situation in which he was followed. Where I'm from, we like sneaky criminals. He said in a YouTube interview with DJ Academics, I call him DJ Akeem, but DJ Academics in LA, it's likely they bold. Now, Atlantic Records, his label described his death as a senseless loss. PNB Rock, who was known for his melodic uh, style, was a part of a wave of rappers whose popularity and unique sound was partly built on their ability to effortlessly switch between singing and rapping. Atlantic Records said that PNB Rock had been more than an artist. To many, the company said Rakeem Allen was a great. You know, hit that like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm gonna keep you updated on these juicy no, juicy news with Osama. You know.